obliterated Echo Fox in that winner's bracket final. A 7-0 victory for them there. So, as I said, no surprise whatsoever to see this is map number one up to gaming gets the pick. Exactly. You know what we've seen, like you say, we've seen this time and time again. And now we've kind of got back to our classic map set with these guys. Right. Damn Reclaimed yeah. and Foundation. All last season, we kind of seen it in some type of rotation. But these are definitely the three best maps, in my opinion, to see what both these teams got. Well, let's not waste any time. Your season two Dallas Open Grand Final now underway. Echo Fox, your blue squad, Optic Gaming, your red squad. Map one, damn, we'll see if Echo Fox can start off a little bit better than, of course, they did in that winner's bracket final. You're going to see this next 1v1, Summons. He's going to make sure he knew how to close the distance right there, and he's going to be able to pick up that kill. So now Optic have a control over the platform. They're trying to get in here. Kenny needs to pick up one of these kills, but he's going to have some help there from Mental. Mental, he needs to get this last kill on Toy. He's in a difficult spot, looking to outplay him, but Toy will pick that up, and he's going to finally go down. So now Optic, they're going to control two, he two hills here. They should have Pumping Station here as well. Uh, they're going to have, actually have a 2v2 fight, not able to cap it just yet. Summons needs to watch a 6. Yeah, the reason Sources from Echo Fox immediately fly back over to the fight at the mid neutral. Summons is going to go down. Kyle uh, with the pick there. Of course, a little bit of help came through Explosive, though. He's still around at B. He will be fallen and cleaned up by Praised as well. And Echo Fox now, they seem to be the team that could control the B Hill. Yes, they can. Uh, they're going to have to come out here. They're going to have to clear these guys out, and that's a good start right there. Take out Icy. You got to pick them off. Keep your distance. Don't let Optic close the gap on you right here. Push them back, and now holding the two cap. Optic's going to start to rotate top platform. As you can see right there, nobody from uh, Echo Fox is there. So they're, they're going to go, and Explosive's going to put some pressure on his home hill. Try to isolate a 1v1. Once he takes a step on that home hill, Echo Fox, their setup is going to start to crumble. See, Explosive being so sneaky, trying to get behind enemy lines. And of course, Soul is man, so he now just recognized there goes the smoke. Explosive will have to try and win this 1v1. The question, though, here is how is Echo Fox going to react? Will they put any pressure on C? No, they seem to be defensively fortifying that B Yo, hill. They, they just pushed him into B, and they said, hey, this is a close game. We're going to see what you can do. You guys cannot stand there for too long. They don't have to push in there. And it looks like Echo Fox isn't sure which way they want to push out. If they want to push forward to Optic's home hill, if they want to go back to their home hill, it looks like they're going to retreat and try to take their numbers on the back line. You got two members there, and also Kyle is going to pick up a kill here to put them in a better position. This could be the play to wrap back over towards that A hill. It's currently neutral. A one-to-one -one hill game. B now seems to wear up to gaming and a start to flood. Summons finds one. That's Fran that goes down. Now the cavalry is here. The support in Icy. Can he force Kyle away? It looks like he can. Summons, of course, with that pick on phrase as well. Up to gaming doing well to break that B hill. And that's going to be three down. So I think we'll get the two cap. And uh, at this point, they're still looking good. They can win off of two. But Echo Fox, they're getting some good shots in. They're about to pick up a kill. Mental tried to get that clean up uh, on the middle. And that guy is still going to be down. And Toy, he still let him get in there. Optic, they're in a good position to get this domination. They got Toy full red here, and they're looking to push the rest of these guys these guys back as well. And I don't know, Echo Fox in a difficult spot. He needs to get the beat. And this is where it's important for someone for Echo Fox to even rotate over towards that C hill. Put pressure on up to Gaming's home. You don't want a turtle because you're about to lose the point lead. 183 to 182. Up to Gaming still with a 2-1 to hill advantage. They're going to get in here quick here, Ben. It's actually a tie game. Whoever holds two hills here, will win the game. Echo Fox isn't in a position to decap anything, especially with Kyle going down. Optic's going to be able to secure this victory here in round number one. Yeah, too many resources over towards B. Not enough. Over towards B. Oh, it was almost broken right at the end there, but not enough. Optic Gaming, 1-0 up. All right, we're going to see what Echo Fox is going to do. We're going to see if they want to put that marks it down early for Kyle uh, in the spawn trucks. We're going to see if they want to do that, if they want to look towards down low. Uh, maybe they might want to put a block here, but I say they need to get to their strengths early on in this game and start playing their game. And seeing exactly what they want to decide. Of course, we, we did see a boom shot placed early on in that winner's bracket final. Right now, the block being hovered over towards the pit side, but uh, to your point, of course, that marks uh, Kyle so damn good with it. Wouldn't be mm. surprised to see it, but no, they actually go for a block down at pit, so... Uh, a little different than what we saw in that winner's bracket final. It is. In the winner's bracket finals, I think it was round two. They just had yep. to put the boom shot down. They said, hey, let's force this fight. Uh, but that was the thing. They were losing a lot of team fights. So here they're going to force Optic to think here and make those smart rotations. But there's still a weapon uh, slot available there on the platform uh, in which a boom shot can still go. That's if, true. Uh, Optic Gaming wants it to go there or Echo Fox. So we're going to see what they want to do here to start off this round. Valid point. Very valid point indeed. 
Now, starting off round number two, on board with Franchise from Echo Fox. He's already found the first pick. That's going to be icy in his first of the game as well. Can he now try and find the second, or at least put down some damage? Seems like Echo Fox doing a good job again over towards that mid neutral off the initial. They will be able to get control, but the question, can they keep hold of it? Toy with a double elsewhere. That's going to be good for him. Echo Fox, they need to do a better job at taking care of their advantages when they get it. And Toy, he's going to push up here with some confidence, waiting for reinforcements from the rest of the squad here. He's going to have a 1v2. Now here comes the 2v2. Looking at guy trying to get this kill over the cover. They're trying to get this kill. That's a good kill there on Icy. They're going to start to decap Optic's home hill. They got a nice pinch here from Kyle as well. Kenny's, he's panicking. All three of them going to go down. Nobody's going to be able to get to this hill in time. And Echo Fox is going to tie it up here. Early. And that, that was a beautiful, beautiful play from Echo Fox, right? Because if you're up the game, you have to worry about Cal obviously putting down uh, shots from far, but you can't challenge him, obviously, because you're being trip capped. So you have to go over towards that home kill, uh, or home hill, I should say. Really, really smart stuff coming in from Echo Fox. Tied up 1-1 one, one, and up the game. Well, they didn't waste any time about that, did they? Said, oh, you don't want to put Boom at Pit? <laughs> no worries, we'll put Boom on Plat. We're still going to force that fight that you're scared of, and them blocking out the pit showed that they were scared of that fight. I love uh, if Echo wanted to, they kind of could have juked them out a little bit longer. They could have put some nades on that Plat or uh, not even block out. You put some nades up there, go something. for the Marxist, right. something, and then in round number two, then go for that pit block. But once they blocked it, I think New was like, okay, you guys scared of us? All right, we got something for you here. Oh, this is the fight that we know Echo Fox don't want, and they're going to be forced to take it. Fran and Toy respond to the early two kills from Optic Gaming with two of their own. Fran is going to go down. Summons picks that's up a five. big double, and that's a five-man wipe. And that right there is exactly why Echo Fox did not want to take that fight. Kenny with this boom shot, he's going to get this home hill. So Optic, they may be able to get this domination. Summons is going to be overextended by himself. We're going to see if the timing works out. And A is going to get broken. Uh, and they actually made it. Can they get there in time? Yes, they will. So uh, Optic, they knew, you know, they might not get that domination right there, but they do have the boom shot. They do have the lead there. Uh, you know, I'm looking for Toy to go big on that platform, Ben. We've seen him time and time again uh, on top of that second half hill up there by that pillar. Yep. He just makes so many clutch plays. We usually call it his dojo. He's currently sat at eight kills in two rounds, two and a half rounds almost. We'll see if he can potentially find anything else here in this round. Just the game all of a sudden going down to a snail's pace as both teams try and figure out exactly what the correct push is going to be and scope each other out as well. More importantly, Fran, as well as Explosive and Kenny, Smoke goes out. Now that could be licensed for Solos and Kenny to push. Oh, he missed that boom. So he may force him to shoot a second boom. They're going to actually get that down. So Kenny still will have one boom left here in the chamber. Uh, and he actually passed that over to Explosives as well. Uh, so now... If Echo tries to get in here, it's going to be hard to break that. You know, and, and explosive, he's just spooking people. He's calling out Franchise saying, hey, Fran's not going to hop over that cover. That's going to be instant death. They're going to slowly pick him off. That's going to be a good kill. And now that's still going to keep that uh, that B hill fortified in favor of Optic Gaming. Smart rotations coming through from Echo Fox, though, currently in control of both the home hills, A and C locked in. But to your point, the B hill, of course, under Optic Gaming control. But for how long, Praise now springs into life. Uh, this could catch up to Gaming with their pants down. They have to immediately put presence back over towards the home hill. They get control of C, but Praise and Solus both picking up big wins. And that's a good job there by Echo Fox. They said, hey, you know what? It's not going to work out. We can't approach this from the front door, so let's go try to hit it from the back door. And they, wrap, they wrapped all the way around the map, got to that home hill. Praise got a good flank in, and they managed to get this two hill control. 127 to 108 in favor of Optic Gaming. But as we see, they only control their home hill for now. Looking at your season one MVP, of course, this mental, a phenomenal player. Oh, that's unfortunate right there. You can't get the boom shot, then give it up like that to Optic. Fran almost made it out, but Explosives knew exactly what was going on. Now it's going to be up to praise right here. Can he defend his home hill? Mental has a 1v1 across the map at the pit. We'll see if he win that soon. It's going to be against Kyle here as well. Explosives going to take out praise. That domination should come here through, uh, come through soon. Kyle. He, he, he's stuck in a difficult spot. Yeah, he was trying to just be a, a little bit of a nuisance. See if he could buy his teammates some time off spawn. And he may have been able to just do that. But here's the problem. Echo Fox now, they're running out of time in this one. They have to make a push over towards B. They can't wait. Obviously, in round number one, they waited just a little bit too long for that push to come through. Now they have to take it. Whether, whether realistically you want to or not, you're going to have to push through. There's the opening to the door. Mental goes down. Fran found the first pick. Fran goes down in the B hill. So it is being decapped. But they need someone overextending to C, as well as winning these gunfights on B. Fram with another pick on Icy. Echo Fox with a potential chance to steal it, but can they touch the Sea Hill in time? Kenny's going to be right here. He's going to go down. One more kill, but I don't think that's going to... Oh! About a second away right there. 
after. And that's the second time that's happened as well for Echo yeah. Fox. The second time in, in three rounds, they need to make that play a, a little quicker. You have to be more decisive. Uh, my biggest critique here with Echo Fox is that those close rounds, they can't let it break their spirit. We saw in the winter bracket finals uh, when it was 2-2 on foundation. Echo Fox looked like they had a round, but then Kenny ran through two NCs, dodged a nade, and managed to pick up a double kill to save his home hill. And uh, that just shows the fact is that, one, you got to play all the way to the end of the right, round. Right. Two, uh, things like that, it's, it's going to happen, but you can't let it affect you. Obviously, Echo Fox now on weapon placement, hovering their support weapons. Will they lock it in more than likely? Yes, they will. The hammer burst placed. Now, I was going to ask you, mm -hmm. obviously Echo Fox, they, they don't want to take that boom shot fight, right? Yeah. Would it be too crazy if maybe they put a drop shot up top of B? Well, that's definitely uh, going to be a good way to spread out the spread it, right? in your favor. Uh, even if you even put a sniper over there or something, or something just because the simple fact is that that drop shot's in the open. You yeah. have a clear sight line from that weapon spawn all the way to pumping station as well if you wanted to do that here. But they're going to stay focused. Echo Fox, they just need to win a team fight. That's the most important thing here. And as soon as they win one, they're going to get their confidence back. The mojo potentially could come through. Explosive will fall as well. And that's the round Echo Fox needs. Four players go down. Kenny Last man up, he goes down as well. Five men down. Two second respawn for Summons. He's going to be the first one to the fight. Will have mental with him. Will he be able to break the hill? I would assume not. The smokes go out. Trick cap domination coming through. Kills come through. And Echo Fox respond. We're all tied up 2 2. Good job, Kyle, right there. Able to get that kill. Echo Fox here with the crowd on their side. But you know what? That sounds like fuel for Optic to me. <laughs> you know, Optic love. They, they love uh, they love when the crowd is against them now. That's they, true. They love breaking hearts. That's true. Well, remember what happened in Mexico City? Uh, so we are going to get that snipe over there on the opposite side of the map. So that snipe, like I said, is going to have that clear sight line to the platform. Uh, it's going to be a 1v1 fight over there. Uh, but first, you're going to have to win the fight before you can get the sniper. It's going to be very, very rare that you can quick pick it. By the end, the fight on platform may already be over. Uh, we're going to see how this one pans out, though. Now heading into 18-second respawn round. Of course, our respawn rounds go up by two seconds per round until halftime. It sets back down to 10 seconds. Explosive on board with him. Fran finds the first pick of this round. Solos already gets his hands on the sniper rifle. Cal shuts down Mental as well. So again, it seems like advantage Echo Fox early in this one. More kills for Franchise. Make that his ninth. Boom shot should be controlled for Echo Fox. And this is a completely different squad than what we saw in the winner's bracket final. Yeah, he has his 1v1 versus Solars, but he's not able to win it. But somehow, Solars, I guess he threw a good smoke. He managed to get that sniper right away. Uh, and even Icy was nervous over there on the platform. I believe that's what it was as he was trying to get that boom shot. But Domination is going to come through. One boom shot left is going to get wasted right there. We're going to see if they're going to regret that one with Summons picking up a double kill. And Optic getting in his home hill. Yeah, Echo Fox wanted to end that round there with the trip cap Domination. Fran used both booms, but unfortunately Summons picked up a nice double. That keeps the game alive, but Solus does have Snipe. He can back away just a little bit here. Doesn't need to be so far pushed up. Of course, Summons will be chasing. Solus looking to try and find the pick. Again, Summons not giving me any respect whatsoever. The down comes through. The kill comes in as well. Nicely played, Echo Fox. At this level, if somebody got Snipe, you still need to push them. You need to push them. You need to rush them. You need to force them to hit that shot on this main stage with the pressure. And uh, some players can do that, but the ones that do are legends here. Uh, but you can't be scared of snipers to let them dictate you like that. But Echo Fox coming through here with his domination. Nobody's going to be able to contest this. Echo Fox for the first time today have the advantage here in down three to two, the lead. Now, can they give themselves a little bit of cushion heading into the second half? That's the question. Going up 4-2 here could be absolutely massive. And then think psychologically as well. What is this going to do to Optic Gaming if they're able to take this map? This is a map in the winner's bracket final, of course. Optic 7 0 Echo Fox. If they're able to come out in the grand final, play the same map they lost in, in, in game three, uh, and win a game one, mentally, that is a huge advantage for Echo Fox. Well, I'll tell you one of the big things that needs to happen here for Optic Gaming. Your season one MVP only has three kills on the board here, okay? So you're gonna have to figure out a way how to get him fired up here, get him engaged in the action, and get him going. 
see Mental can potentially try and turn the tide here in this one. Kyle already with first blood, but Summons quick picks the boom. Now, can he use that to some advantage? Mental obviously in support. Icy as well manages to find the pick on Toy Soldier. So up to game, look good early on to potentially tie things up here. Three rounds apiece, but we'll have to wait to see. They need to go over there and help Kenny's there now 1v1 so they can get that neutral hill and they can get Snipe at the same time. And uh, they will make their way over there, kill him. Uh, that's going to be three members down here for Echo Fox. Optic, we're going to see if they can make a play. They need both home hills. that still have not been capsule. It's just a neutral hill. Now, Optic still has two boom shots. They still got uh, Snipe in Icy's hands as well. And we know how deadly he can be. But France making plays on the other side of the map. Yeah, that's going to be the key. France shuts down explosive there. So, realistically, he should have just bought his teammates enough time to come off spawn and contest their home hill. And that's the fact he has. And he may just book it now. Back up towards that mid neutral hill. Saying, nah, don't really want any of that. There, of course, you see Toy just trying to keep his head down over towards the C hill. And that, of course, Echo Fox's home hill. Meanwhile, Icy. Can he find the shot with the sniper rifle? Can he get it? Can he land it? Doesn't look like that's going to be the case for now. Fran, again, scrambling, desperately trying to get away. Optic's going to play for the two cap right here. I don't see him moving anytime soon. Uh, unless they get three kills in a row, that's going to be two. Maybe Icy can get a headshot. Maybe Kenny can get this kill on the flank over here as well. Uh, you got boom shot here in 40 seconds. And also, you got the snipe to look at the platform. But Optic may be looking to end this right here. Yeah, the, the, the key here really is what is Toy Soldier going to be able to do? The last man standing now for Echo Fox for a few moments. Can he just buy the time for his teammates in terms of the score? There is still plenty of time in this one, but the trip cap domination coming through for Optic Gaming. Kyle first one to the party. Will he be able to touch the hill? No, he won't. And we're all square at three rounds apiece going into the second half. That's exactly what I have to need right there. And like I told you, Ben, this is going to be a dog fight. This is going to go back and forth, back and forth here. Uh, but hey, halftime, we always usually see these teams tied up 3-3 at the half. That's why when, when it doesn't happen, it's, it's, it's kind of crazy, right? I, I, think, I think somebody's going to pull away here in the second half. I don't know, I don't know who it's going to be, but somebody's going to pull away. Uh, and the key for me is, is really what you pointed out last round. If mental starts to heat up, if mental starts getting in more of those fights and start picking up more kills and starts doing more mental-like things, that's where you really will see up to gaming pull away. You know, in, in, in mental's defense here, he has uh, four other talented teams. Oh, no, abs absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. But we know how much of an impact he can have he on can. a map, right? As soon as he starts heating up, he can just do something which turns the tide completely. And that really can be a, a big, big X factor for up to gaming. That's true here. Uh, as you're going to see, you're going to have optic gaming. They're going to be controlling two heals here at this point. Mental's gonna go down. They're actually gonna get three kills. They're already in pursuit of this home hill. They should get E hill at the same time. You got the last two members right in front of you. And these are 10 second respawns here, folks. So I think they're gonna be spawning up pretty oh, quick. Praise. praise. He got something to say about it. Here comes Solars with the reinforcements. They're gonna hold this one off. And Echo Fox should be able to get this one. Yep, they will indeed. A nice trip cap domination early on. In round one of the second half, only took 50 seconds for that one to come through. And now Echo Fox with the advantage once again on Dam. Four to three up. And the question I have now for Optic Gaming is what do you do in weapon placement? Yeah. Well, you put the boom all the way down in pit. And of course, that is the exact same spot we had it in that winner's bracket final. And that's going to be there the whole game. That, bo that boom isn't uh, isn't moving whatsoever. Maybe uh, if we get to round 13, somebody will be able to swap it out. But we saw Echo. They blocked it out early on. Uh, they had a few good rounds because of the two. They had a few good fights, uh, a good first half here. But now Optic, they're, they're, they're back to their bread and butter here, Ben. And uh, this is going to be a dog fight. This is the situation they want. This is the situation that they love to have. Summons draws first blood. Solos responds instantly with a pick. However, Summons with a double. Good stuff coming in from him. Kenny Ooh. and Icy both get picks. Ooh. I see with a double five Echo Fox players fall and Optic Gaming will steamroll for map control and more than likely secure a trip cap domination. Man, that's, ex that's exactly what Echo Fox was afraid of right there. We're going to see if Toy can get in here to break this hill. I see he's backing up like he wasn't confident. I think he was just backing up, giving his teammate Ooh. room to use that boom shot right there. The last three members in the hill, Solar's friend. It's all up to Solar's here. Can he stop it? And he cannot. Uh, and that's such a smart play from up to gaming, right? They, they decap the hill. They pull away. Someone says, hey, I, I got boom. Make sure I don't team kill here, right? Because that's the worst case scenario. Too many times you see the player with boom accidentally take a, a teammate down with him, right? And that was just such good play from up to gaming, making sure that there were no mistakes whatsoever so they could close out that round. 
Echo Fox needs something here to assist them in this team fight. They need something to help him, help them uh, get here at the pit. Maybe they go for the dual spawns. You know, maybe they want to go and put those marks down. Play the Kyle Strims right there. Uh, of course, that's going to be explosive picking it up on the other end, especially on this map. If it was, if it was Foundation, that's a Kyle versus Kenny matchup, which is a good one. But we all know explosives is just as much of a master with those secondary weapons as Kyle. But you can't think like that. Are they really going to? Let's do this. I'm all oh, about it's time this. to party. Let's it's go. time to party, dual snipes. Let's go. You're, you're, you're obviously a, a, now, a big fan. Now, we've seen, you know, Mental, he had five kills right here, okay? He's going right into that truck and picking it up. We're going to see a duel between him and Franchise. But you know what? Every time I've seen Echo Fox put double snipes down, I've seen him make incredible comebacks because Fran turns into a completely different player. If you thought he was good before, wait till you see him now. Oh, speaking of the devil, Fran's going to grab it. And I don't think anyone from Up to Gaming actually played for it, so they may actually have a, a, a brief advantage over on that fight for Boom. Fran actually hit that shot nicely done. Uh, Tori, unfortunately, though, will fall. Fran actually finds the first pick. That's going to be Kenny down and out. Summons, though, another double to open up the round. Explosive there with Solars, and that was the problem. If you play for the sniper and the other team don't, they have that massive, massive advantage over the initial fight for Boom. You got to call it out here, but I will tell you that Fran is hitting his shots. He's going to hit this one, too. I can tell you right now. Oh, timing it, but Kenny knew what was up right there. He knew to fake it. He's going to get back out, and he's going to go down. But Optic, can they close this one out? Echo, they will be back in a position to get their home hills. And now Kenny's finally going to pick up his sniper on his side of the map right there and pick up a headshot across map there on Kyle. And also Icy with the boom shot. Echo, they're going to be in a difficult position right here. Very mind, he had two, now one left in there. The trip cap domination coming through once again. Another kill with the boom. Now you essentially have a 1v1 for a brief moment of time. Meanwhile, elsewhere on the map, Kenny trying to make sure Praise doesn't make any sneaky plays over towards the E-Hill. Trip Cap domination coming through very, very quickly. Grand shuts down Icy, and the Trip Cap will be stopped. Up to gaming, though. 59 points. Let's hop on board. One of Echo Fox. And you know, Kenny, he's getting some angles. He has a lot of shots left in his snipe here. Uh, you see the members of Echo Fox, they're trying to go pumping station now. They're trying to flip the map and go towards the other end and try to get some positioning here on Optic. Fran's new sniper is going to be up here in about 10 seconds or so. So Echo's going to wait for that. But once he gets it, we're going to be looking for him to make a play right off the bat here because uh, they need somebody to pretty much open his door. And he's going to pretty much be looking for Kenny. Not going to be able to connect with that one, but he's going to get his teammates a little bit closer to their home hill. Game slowing down pretty drastically. That, that's, of course, the effect sometimes sniper rifles will have. Fran looking to potentially push further up here, trying to get a better line of sight. There's going to be two up to gaming players over towards E. Summons actually over there as well, so three. Echo Fox flooding Optics Home Hill. They will be able to neutralize it. Not sure whether they want to stay and try and go for that cap just yet. Solars is down and out for the count. Cal is still over there. Praise now joins the fight as well. The sniper bullet being fired straight over the top. Trades coming in left and right. Yeah, they try to get in here, but this E Hill is still going to be in favor here of Optic Gaming, even though they're having a big fight. Oh, Fran tried to catch Mento off on the back end there, but that boom shot is going to be up soon, and he knows it. Trying to get in position to grab. Grab it. Looking Pressure down as well go. for a trip cap here, too. Bear that boom's in mind. to your left. You don't hear it? The boom's right behind you. Oh. Mental picks up one with the boom. Mental picks up two with the boom. And he's going to have a snipe on the ground here, but he has two more people in front of him. He's not going to be able to get out of that situation. Uh, Echo Fox still has a lot of control here in this round, but I think you see that big lead. They can win off of one, uh, but at the same time, they shouldn't turtle. They need to push out, wrap around for that home hill, make sure they can still get that uh, that plat control, uh, still fight for two heals, even though you have such a big lead. Yeah, despite you know, a little bit of map control Echo Fox do have, it's looking like it will be an optic gaming round once again. That point lead just too much, too drastic. And Echo Fox not doing enough currently to nullify it or even potentially reduce it. Summons another big win. His 23rd kill here in map number one. That's what you need. And that <laughs> right there is going to solidify this round right here for Optic Gaming. Echo Fox not in a position to get to that home heal. They only need one here. So Optic Gaming is going to go up here 5-4. to four. Yes, They will. A much better round home from Optic Gaming. Curious to now see what Echo Fox are going to do in weapon placement. Is there anything they can do here to turn the tide? I mean, the sniper rifles definitely did slow down the pace of the game. But the problem was when Fran played for that, and no one from Optic Gaming did, that massive advantage they had down there at the bottom side of the map, uh, of course, playing for that boom. We're going to take a longer look at the overhead here. I want to see how all these players want to come out of smile and how they want to break out here. Uh, maybe Fran goes for it again. His team plays more passive. Uh, maybe this time Optic wants to go head-to-head, -head, but I don't see why, because that strategy worked out the round right. before. 
Uh, but those snipers definitely going to play an effect here in this round. I know Fran's going to want to get it, but we're going to see if he wants to fight with his team early on. It's, it's a weird one, right? I feel like you almost have to. You don't want to leave your teammates high and dry. Uh, it looks like Echo Fox, yep, this time they're going to go. Yeah, all both teams down are going to match it. Five man deep here. And they're, they're just going to, you know what? They're just going to use those snipers as, as, as secondary. You know, if they lose the fight back up, you got something to work with. Toy is going to grab these nades here on top of that platform. We're going to see if he can put them to good use. But Mental, he's get one. He gets two here. He's staying alive. That boom shot's still in play. But they're more worried about uh, picking up the rest of these kills here. Fran sneaks around, but he's going to get some reinforcements coming in late. We're going to see if Toy can make it to him in time here to try to help him out. That's going to be one. Boom shot's going to get picked up here as well. Toy needs to be smart about this. Yeah, he does indeed. Of course, boom shot to his left hand side, dancing around, making sure that boom can't be utilized. Solus picks up the headshot on explosive with the sniper rifle. Toy will fall. Mental cleans him up, and of course, still one boom left in the chamber. We'll have to take his own life there as well, but he kills. Him. All right, so uh, now even after all that chaos, the score is still low, you know. Uh, only a two-point difference here. That neutral hill still haven't, hasn't been capped. So both these teams going to reset. And Kyle's broke ice here. He's on top of that platform. Uh, we're going to see if anybody can capitalize on this. And Summons has to call out. He's trying to get in here, cause some commotion, get him to turn his back to the rest of his teammates. Looking to take this as a 2v1. But he's going to get flanked. And didn't realize he was the one getting pinched. And now Echo Fox, they have a big advantage. That's some big kills for them. Of course, three players go down for Optic Gaming. Now what can Echo Fox do? Can they use this advantage to potentially tie up the game? Icy flies by Praise, picks up Franchise as well. A double kill for him, make that a triple kill as Kyle falls. Ooh. And that is the impact Icy has on this team. That's what you need to hear from Icy. Those frag grenades are going to be up here in 30 seconds in the boom shot 20 seconds after that. So, Optic, they can wait for the next set of power weapons here. They don't have to try to force this combination. Uh, they're definitely in a good spot. They just need to clear out this platform, get these last two members that's trapped in the corner, and that's going to be a double down. So, uh, easy kills here for Icy. Praise is going to be in a bad spot as well. All those guys you need to drop back or pr probably die here fighting for these nades. Kills are coming in and again in favor of Optic Gaming. Some will be able to clean up yet another pick this round. And of course, you immediately see the intent charging over towards Echo Fox's home hill. It's now neutral. The trip cap domination coming in. This to give Optic Gaming map point here in your grand final for map number one. The kills are getting for Optic Gaming. Surely Echo Fox can't hold on much longer. Another pick comes in from Icy on Praise. Fran, the last lone play from Echo Fox. Can he make an epic play? It doesn't look like he's going to be able to do so. And Boom Shot being picked up there by Explosives on the other side. So he's going to be walking over here in case one of these guys try to make a big play here. And Optic Gaming goes match point here. Map number one on down. Six to four, the lead. Echo Fox now need to win the next three rounds back to back. And of course, they won't have another weapon placement. Once again, we've so. seen it before, you know. Uh, we found ourselves in this position a lot. Uh, and it's actually six to four. So they only got two rounds to tie it up here. Uh, we're going to see what they want to do. This is their last weapon placement. What are they going to go with? Boltox up top. Okay, and, and, I, and I think that's fine. Uh, they don't think Optic's going to put nothing too crazy on the other half of the map. Uh, even, they, even they don't like the map too chaotic here. Uh, so Echo Fox playing is safe there. But still, the main focus here, we're coming into 18-second respawns, Ben. The main focus is still going to be down there in that pit towards that boom shot. You already got two snipers on the map. You got needs on the map here as well. It's about to be an all-out brawl here on this platform. 5v5 fight here. We're about to see what's about to go down. And Echo Fox finally win this fight down low at pit. Trades come in early on, Fran down, meant as well from Optic Gaming, looking at Solar's perspective. Ball in front of him, Solar's last man up for Echo Fox. He will as well. That's a free boom shot for Optic Gaming. And the Optic trying to end this with the gap players dropping back to cap up their hole. They're going to be on top of D and F. Echo Fox knows if Fran last ditch effort, he's going to go down. Optic Gaming now 1 0 up here at the Dallas Open in our grand final. Echo Fox may need to win the next two maps, but they're going to have any chance of read the bracket once again. And you can see Red Icy popping off. Listen, this man, he has gotten a lot of crap over the past few weeks. Yeah. People are saying, listen, Optic can win without you. Why can't? Basically, they compared him to a Kevin Durant. Mm -hmm. Is that right? 
saying, saying that uh, the Warriors is better without him? <laughs> right. Or, sorry. Uh, I mean, Oklahoma. Optic, Optic. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, Oklahoma. Uh, but uh, no, Optics, they're, they're going to be good. You're right. And, and Icy said in an interview, hey, he says, hey, you know what? My team is the best team in the game without me. But with me, they're legendary. Oh, definitely. Funny thing is, when Echo Fox picked up Kyle, I asked Kenny, I said, how do you feel about this roster move? Kenny sent me an optic code. <laughs> Led those to 29 summons handling the platform. And you saw every time that someone was, was getting challenged, this is again yeah. what Echo Fox is not directly. They're not cross challenge optic in their fights. They finally went with a weapon placement that is actually good. They put snipes down to try to slow down the pace of the game. There's other things that they ha have in their arsenal that you can look towards. You right. can probably throw shot grenades to zone out that area, slow down that fight, so you guys don't have to go all in right away. Optic didn't take the bait though. No, Optic no. didn't take they the didn't, bait on the side. They, 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 they didn't take that bait. The yeah. double snipes went down, uh, and nobody really went for it until unless they lost that initial. You know, they knew it was more important to get the boom shot. Hey, it's a lot of money here online. Maybe if Echo Optic had like a four-round lead, they yes. would have played that a little bit differently and went for those snipes. Oh, definitely. Map order is coming up. Also, Echo Fox, they started off hot. Optic Gaming came back and just ran through that whole map. Did they figure out Echo Fox completely? Is Echo Fox still in it at all? I don't think it's necessarily figuring out Echo Fox. I think just fundamentally when it comes down to it, Dam is a better map for Optic Gaming. It's a comfortable one. I mean, they 7 0 Echo Fox in the winner's final, right? I mean, it's a lot better from Echo Fox in terms of what we saw. Obviously, they take four rounds, but up next, of course, we have Reclaimed, and if it does go the distance, it's foundation. And if you be positive on this one and be optimistic, I mean, I you, you lost a 7 0 in the winner's finals, and you came <laughs> back and you won a 7 4. Uh, Reclaim's going to be an Echo Fox map pick. It's definitely a better one for him. Uh, Fran does a good job matching up with Mental inside of that bowl. So uh, I'm expecting big things at Echo Fox here on this map. But then you're going to go to Foundation in map number three of Echo Fox considered this tiebreaker. The biggest thing I think that Echo Fox needs to do, have to start crossing better. Now they have to start playing their game. Optic is so good at forcing the Echo Fox to come fight them. And Echo Fox is doing nothing to counter that. So my question for you is that can Echo Fox not have the same play style as Optic and be successful? No. My man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so we're coming up on Escalation Ari. This is the second map in the Season 2 Championship Finals between Optic Gaming and Echo Fox. Of course, as you said, Blaze, this is going to be an Echo Fox map pick. And as we load into Reclaim, Optic Gaming now one map away from winning the first major championship to kick off season two. Whew. We're going to see. I want to, uh, you know, we're going to see. One thing I want us to pay attention to is where these smokes land over here by the bowl area. Uh, Optic, they're going to try to get a late smoke here. That's going to be a good update up there by Mental. He's going to be trying to get in this bowl. He's going to be these match with Solar's actually, not Fran. I don't know if Fran was late in that spawn, but you see both teams, they kind of edge of the bowl because there's usually a lot of smoke in there, and they're trying to get vision uh, and not run blindly into any fights here. But this fight goes in favor of Echo Fox or Praise. Picking up a big double kill right there up to Summons to hold off the system. Yeah, we'll see if potentially Praise is going to charge back up towards that home hill. Of course, in map number two, I'm thinking going to be up blue squad. Echo Fox on uh, red squad. Now still looking at Praise. Summons may actually push out of shot, but does wisely back away the ball. Now Summons, he's going to go down as well, but 10 second respawns. The rest of the team, they're going to be spawned up. They're going to be in a good spot. And Summons was a little bit overextended there. He was trying to buy team some time uh, to come off and respawn, but now they're going to push up here. Mental with a miss roll. Fran's going to take advantage. They're going to pick up three kills, and this is where Echo Fox has to go for that domination. They can't give Optic a second life. They can't can't let them sign up and take another crack at staying alive here in this round because if Optic was in that situation, this round would already have been over. Here's the problem. Echo Fox don't even have their home hill. Finally, Optic's going to come through, but someone should surely be able to touch the sea hill. Will be able to do so. Now the chaos will ensue through the smoke grenade and Optic Gaming. They're there. What was a short round for Echo Fox. Four kills. Summons fresh off spawn. It's becoming way, way chaotic than arguably it needed to be. Mental find that pick as well on franchise. And Optic Gaming survive. They're so good at staying alive in the rounds, which they surely should lose. Yeah, that was a round that uh, I wanted Echo Fox to end early, and I think Echo knows that as well. When you give Op Optic this many chances for you to tell them that three to four tries that they can't win and, and dominate you like they uh, were attempting to do in the beginning of these rounds, and you're going to see Icy. He says, all right, this third time's a charm. Man, he's going to get three kills. They're looking for the third right here in the bowl, trying to force the rest of these Echo Fox members out. Echo in a difficult spot here to try to stay alive here. Now, some have the point lead, though, and they have a massive cushion. Don't change your points. So he will be taken away from them now. This is going to be the problem. Summons already putting pressure on Echo Fox's home. This is a big, big win. If Kyle is going to be able to get it.
Doesn't really have too much support. Only one player in the form of Solas, but the crossing is coming through. Solas shuts down one, but unfortunately both Cal Solas oh. and Fran all fall. And it's Echo Fox dropping like dominoes as Icy surely will find yet another pick. No, Toy actually with a double break. Okay. Straight out of spawn with two, and just like that, Echo Fox respond. That's what they needed. It was close, man. I, I had my next synthesis ready. I was about to say, that's the big difference here. You know, uh, rounds like this, but Echo, I'm, I'm going to hold my tongue for right now. We're going to see if they can win this round uh, that they should have ended a lot early. And that's some uh, going to be some good aggression here by Praise. They're going to push up here. Echo Fox is thinking, let's just keep two cats. Exactly that. Exactly that. At this point, now you can play a rotation game if you want. Have one person sneak towards C, try and go unseen. You'll have a massive lead approaching 60 points. You have a two to one hill advantage. Just make sure you don't get team wipe. That's essentially all you have to do. In this They're looking to possibly push to that home hill. They're going to push both hills simultaneously. Explosives with the pinch. You got Summers down there trying to get uh, on top of the home hill down low. Hey, you see he's oh, tapping it. There you but go. that's what you need out of praise to keep you alive. But the words I was going to say is that why is it that Optic would have got those three kills and dominated you, but you can't get three kills and dominate them? And there was a, it, it's, not, it's not even like that just happened once in that round. Oh, no. It, that... it happened twice, and then it almost completely flipped the switch. Went up to gaming, put the pressure on Echo Fox, but uh, a big, big double off spawn from Praise. And those, the, those are the rounds that just make them crumble as a squad here, like the one round we saw in Foundation right. in, in the Winners' Finals. Those are the ones that always just plague them, that they have to get over here if they uh, want to be a consistent, dominant team like Optic. Obviously. They, they are, uh, I guess you could say, a, a little lucky in that one that the mistake didn't really cost them too much. They walk away with the first round, so Optic Gaming have the first weapon placement of map number two, and it's going to be Incense. I like the Incense. Uh, Optic's going to have some fun with these Incense here on the board. They know it's a difficult fight, but with the Incense in play, they're going to give it up for free. This time they didn't contest it. They says, hey, you know what? Someone's got it. Someone's are going to go. He uh, got over here towards uh, the, the mid stairs. Now he has a bunch of different angles. But Kyle said, Hold what it. you're looking at? Do not forget me over here. And uh, as, as Summers was playing aggressively with those incense, Kyle was playing defensively with him and watching out for him. He might be able to find an extra one there. Oh, but he's looking to get a double kill. Yeah, yeah. there you go. Cook him, Kyle. Cook him. Icy and Mental both go down, and Echo Fox now spring back into life, looking for another trip cap domination. Will they be able to get it? Summons desperately trying to find at least Ooh. some damage output. Shuts down one. That's Kyle. Trip cap will come through momentarily, though. Now can Echo Fox lock it in? Summons springs into life. Three Echo Fox players in front. The cavalry coming straight off spawn from Optic Gaming. Mental shuts down Solos, and Echo Fox have to back away. I think that's such a good job at. Uh Going into situations, taking damage, rolling out a little bait and switch action with their teammates. They're always on the same page, and you know some things they don't even have to communicate. They just know uh, they know their teammates' characteristics here. But B Hill will go in favor of Optic Gaming. They're going to they're gonna control the two cap. New incense to be up here in about I would say 30 or so seconds. That's going to be key here. But Optic, they're trying to actually control both incense before they even think about this domination. They don't want uh, Echo to have any chances at coming back in here. A very fragile lead about to be taken away from them. Optic Gaming controlling A and B Hill. Echo Fox, of course, now 95 to 82 point lead. The game really reducing that very quickly. They're looking at your overhead map. See one play from Echo Fox being sneaky. Should put pressure on up to Gaming's home hill. So realistically, uh, no threat of a trip cap domination for him just yet. That's a good play right there. Bad toy. Solar's is going to get a kill as well. Optic has a pair of incense, and uh, they're about to go get picked up right about now. Uh, and so we're going to see if they can be utilized here, but I don't think so. Nobody's in position. It's mental. They're going to cut off his route rather than trying to go for that insta-kill right there. And Echo goes up 2-0. Uh, obviously, we heard Waldo talk uh, a little bit after map number one about, you know, seeing Echo Fox maybe play a, a little more of their own game as opposed to Optic Gaming forcing them to, to, to play their game. And, and that seems to be the case in the first two rounds. Boom shot, Barn. Uh, Optic Gaming pick right here. Boom shop down low in the workshop. Okay, they want to flip this fight early. Uh, they're going to let Summons up top uh, have his incense and fight his 1v1s there. That, maybe they go for a block, or maybe I'm just completely wrong and they don't want that fight at all. We'll You're really wrong. That's true. Well, actually, no. Uh, now, when it comes to weapons, we're not really wrong, but you're, okay, uh, that's gonna be a block here. Okay, all right, they're gonna hey, they're gonna not the end of the give, world. It, give it another round. You know, they don't want to feel it out. You know, you know, show their hand too soon here. Fair enough. Fair enough. Of course. Uh, because you know, let's think far ahead. Let's say they put the boom there. They went around. Echo puts nades there. Maybe Optic doesn't want to deal with those nades in that situation. You know, maybe they don't want to deal with that incense. Let them set up the map here. Uh, like I tell you, Ben. You know, round three and round four. That's when the real action starts. Completely agree with you. you know, Looking at Summon's perspective, Optic Gaming straight off the bat throws out the first instant. 
Doesn't get the pick just yet, but Montgomery will be blocking that path. Second instant goes out as well, but the charge goes straight through the smoke. Franchise having none of that. Doesn't want to waste any time, but Icy and Mental respond. <laughs> Mental with a double of his own. Count may go down here as well, momentarily full red. Found the first pick, but there comes the boss. That's a good flank right there by Explosives. That's going to be four down here. Last member alive is Toy. And uh, I think that's him overextending to the Echo Fox, or uh, overextending to the Optics home hill. So he's going to cap that by his team sometime here. And uh, his team will be able to get to their home hill. Optic, they're not going to force it right here. They're just going to back up control the two cap and on the map here like we're clean uh, especially when you set up up top in that bowl for you to break that setup that's a hard thing to do right okay so i don't think they're gonna they're gonna roll the dice here they're gonna hold off uh let echo get an opportunity to push by the end you know you don't know the new incense may be up echo may be actually waiting for these incense to come up because they know that it's going to be hard to break this bowl setup but you see these guys mobilizing the smokes are going to hit the ground that means that the action is about to start yep there goes the first player through it's kyle and explosive shuts him down mental trying to find some shots over the wall of course two players now from echo fox trying to get out of that one but explosive may have just over dedicated himself over committed a little bit solos will make him pay the price and solos looking for the second is he going to be able to find it Unfortunately, Mental goes down, but Solos will be able to be picked up, and Echo Fox should surely break the B-Hill, unless Kenny can essentially 1v3 for someone's trying to put down some shots from afar. Solos finds the pick on Kenny, though, and Echo Fox should secure that B-Hill. Okay, that's the kills they needed. Now, right there in that situation, Echo Fox can't push for a domination. They had to regain control over that neutral hill. Now, the next team fight, when they get a, a lot of a few kills consecutively, that's when they want to push for it. But now, Optic, the difference between the two retakes is that Optic is about to have incense to use on theirs. So they're going to go in there and they're going to pick that up right about now. There we go. And so now Echo, they need to back up and they need to get their incense here as well. Because they don't want to uh, fight this fight here without them. You see the score, 145 to 132. Echo Fox are about to take the lead very soon here. Of course, they are the ones with the two to one hill advantage. Optic Gaming, still plenty of time in this round to go for one uh -oh. good push. And that was a, a hell of a Kobe right there from someone who did connect uh, with the kill, of course, but still forces Solos to potentially back out. Got three people stacked up here. Summons knows that he's going to get that instant behind him. They're going to get some shots. Uh, try to get a little bit of headshot damage right there. Let, trying to let the splash damage kill him, but he's going to find a nice little sweet spot there in that bowl. And uh, Echo, they hold off here on this push. They didn't pull away here with the lead. If they can kill Optic right here, they'll definitely take this round. Unfortunately, though, Summons is still alive. He goes down. Solus doesn't finish off the kill. Now it's a 1v1 inside the ball. Explosive doesn't know whether to go for the fight or not. The b is now being decapped. But as you can see, C and A both being capped at the same time. Praised and Fran both winning those 1v1s. Echo Fox now 3-0 up. And that is just a top quality play, really, from Echo Fox. It really is here. Uh, and uh, that's just a good job for him. This is Echo Fox's map pick. They're doing very, very well here. Uh, now Optic. They're not winning this bow fight. Things aren't working I, out for them. I was going to say, when Echo Fox get control of the B Hill, there just seems nothing Optic Gaming can do to break it. Go. And there you go. You called it uh, the, the prior round, but it does come in now. Boom shot down low. All right, this is about to be a completely different fight here. And uh, Optic, they love that boom shot because when they get kills, they're rewarded. And uh, with those heavy power weapons on, uh, those kills translate into dominations in a quick fashion. And uh, that's another thing that kind of even assists to their, their, you know, their, their dominant play style. Their weapon selection is part of it as well. Especially considering now our respawn delay does get a, a little bit higher. Exactly. Honestly. It's, it's going to be easy for them to tie this up. I wouldn't be surprised if it's 3-3 by the half. Well, you say that, but that's not the greatest start of all time. Kenny with a team kill. Kyle finds one and a nice boom pick up there for Solos. He's going to enjoy getting the free kill with that potential. No, it doesn't. And uh, some of this launches over and instant straight back at him. And Echo Fox did have an advantage here, but really able to, to do much with it just yet. They got one boom shot left here. We're going to see what they want to do with it. Uh, th the thing is, is killing Mental on top of this home hill. He's going to get it down over that wall. Not sure if Mental's going to be able to clean that up. You see Solars, he's chilling there with the ramp with that boom shot in hand, and he didn't even kill his teammate in that one. And Kyle's going to actually get further away uh, <laughs> out of danger off of that. So it works out for Echo Fox in many different ways here in Optic. They're trapped in their spine pretty much. Kyle gets up and immediately does fall. The trick cap domination coming through once again. Echo Fox flicks the switch. I see though. Able to shut down praised and actually doing a good job of just staying alive more importantly. A minute and ten seconds to that next boom shot comes up. Uh, now optic they don't have any points. 
they can choose to uh, incense are going to be up first they can choose to get their incense uh they can get first get control of a bar pick up the next set of incense get boom play for the kills here uh in that order so we're going to start to see them get some control of up top we're going to see i think they got a few players down low in barn if i'm not mistaken you see some is down there kind of overextended domination coming through he's on top of that home hill they said blaze forget your plan we're just trying to end this room right now <laughs> A couple of players from Echo Fox though, off spawn. We'll be able to lock in their home hill and they have such a big cushion in terms of points. They don't really need to force anything just yet. Wait for everyone to come off spawn and then try and set up on the map. Yeah, Kenny's gonna push out for that kill. Not sure if that was a smart move, but he will be able to escape and he's gonna have some help mid-map, but Explosive goes down and actually Kenny goes down as well. That's gonna be him down outside, so they're both gonna pay for that and they pay for it at the wrong time. 30 seconds till new boom is up. 12 to 50 points now up to gaming. Slowly but surely shipping away the early Echo Fox lead. Kyle shuts down Icy, however. Now can that potentially open up that side of the map? Fran as well, just trying to put down some damage. You say the new boom's up. Fran will take control of it. And with that utility now on the map, Surely Echo Fox can, can turn the tide up top at B. Oh, there you go. This is what you want mental. He needs to be sneaky with these incense. Uh, they're going to actually get him called out here. He's going to throw one over to the stairs to kind of slow down that push there from Echo Fox. But now he's looking for that boom, and he's going to get eyes on it, and he's going to have this incense out. Uh, he's going to get a good one here to try to get Fran. He's going to get it behind him and give his uh, teammate, you know, reason to push. That's a good suicide there. And if Mental could come out with the 1v1, but he's not able to. Now Echo Fox in a position to make this 4-0 to zero here with a two-heel cap and Optic nowhere to be found in sight. That's a big 1v1 win from Souls. It will give Echo Fox control of the B-Hill, but now he has an even bigger 1v1 against Kenny. Has to get this kill to defend the B-Hill until the support can come through. <coughs> Kenny goes down. Solas is doing such a good job. Yeah, they're trying to push so uh, Solas out, and he's get pushed out now, but here comes Toy with the reinforcements, and with that kill right there, Echo Fox with two heals in their favor. Only person's left is Mental to get up here, and that's going to be it. Nobody's in that hill. Echo Fox here, looking good, 4-0. to zero. Turning the tide in map two. It's map one, unbelievably close. But here in map two, a 4-0 lead for Echo Fox. They are much more comfortable here on Reclaimed. Uh, and now, again, curious to see what we see up to gaming doing weapon placement, because everything they tried, it, it just didn't work. Yes, of course, last round, there was an unfortunate team kill, which didn't help with the initial play for them. You know, if this was Echo Fox in Winners Finals and they got four in a row, they'd be ecstatic, they'd be crazy, they'd be jumping up and down. But now, they know. like, hold up. Yep. It's a... We're playing from behind here. You know, let's pace ourselves. You know, we got to get... Uh, we got to get this to map three here first. We're going to see if they can do it. But I want to say, the last time we saw Optic down 4-0, I want to say they wow. won that game. I think it may have been a fight night, if anything. And uh, kind, of, kind of to your point about, you know, the Echo Fox energy levels, it, it's not even about just trying to get it to a game three. It's about knowing they have to reset the bracket as well. They have to be Optic Gaming, not just once, but twice. Uh, and this is a situation that they've been so used to. Uh, again, to reiterate, in season one, Echo Fox came from the loser's bracket three times. They were able to reset the bracket twice. I'm looking to see if they can do it here. Maybe the first major of season two in terms of round five here. It started off a, a little bit better for the game. So Optic put, the, put these retro lances down. They put that down for uh, explosives. You know, they know how damn good he is with it, uh, how much fire he can put out, uh, how many downs he can get with it. So now they're just trying to, they're trying to bring, make Echo Fox feel the fear again, feel the pressure, oh, trying oh, to oh. suffocate him here. But Echo is just playing too good here on his reclaim map. Yeah, they're just playing their own game. I, I think that really is the key. Kyle doing fantastic wonders with the boom. Mental full red. Trip cap domination could be coming through. And Echo Fox looking to make a serious, serious statement here in map two of your grand finals. All right. I'm going to be honest. Yeah. This is unexpected. This is unexpected. This Five is very, oh. very unexpected. 5 0 is very unexpected. And uh, we'll see if they can keep this one up and uh, return that 7-0 favor back to them. What's interesting about this whole situation now is, let's say Echo Fox do reset the bracket, right? Mm -hmm. What happens in our second best of three map vetoes? You know, usually we always get the same maps in a different you, you order. I think, but I mean, 7-0, let's say Echo Fox 7-0 up to gaming here. I mean, it, could we see maybe some changes come through? But you don't have Optic chooses to ban or claimed out. You're going to have maps 
uh, left out there like Forge Blitz. Th that's what I'm saying. Maybe something a, a little more crazy comes through. It, it, it depends, right? <laughs> uh, we, we, we'll see. We'll see what they want to do here, you know. Uh, but, you know, like we, we've seen this before. And both these teams was like, nah, you know what? These are three matches where we feel like we can outplay each other, you know. It's uh, it's any given Sunday, Widow. Very true. Of course, Fran was able to quick pick the boom. He did die. I'm not sure if that is going to be on the floor. A couple more players go down. And I believe it's going to be praised last man up here for Echo Fox. What can he do? It's explosive and summons up for Optic Game. He has explosive right in front of him. That's why, yeah, Praise does have the boom in hand. Still one shot left. Trying to find the angle on explosive. And that's going to be a good boom shot right there. Uh, and so, but not able to kind of get that kill. He's going to back out of this regroup here with the squad. He's going to trade this one out. He says, hey, Fran, you take it. You're the vet. You didn't shot millions of boom shots on my phone. <laughs> for lots of money. Uh, but they're gonna rotate back up here. Optic does have the two cap. They need to figure out where the boom shot is. But also, even when it comes down to swapping, uh, you know, sometimes a team will call out a character. It's like, hey, this character has boom shot. And, uh, you know, if you swap in secret, uh, you may be able to catch them off guard. That's a good point. Very good point indeed. As it stands in round six, though, it's up to gaming. 68 points to 27 up. Two to one hill advantage. They're building a lead as well. Of course, Fran does have one boom available to use here. Curious to see how he decides to do just that. Explosive aiming down at the boys at Echo Fox. Fran, of course, uh, to the left-hand side there. That is going to be a couple of kills once again in favor of Optic Gaming. All right, here. Uh, Optic, they need to translate these kills or something. They need to get their first round here on the board. Uh, you know what, Ben? If Echo was up 6-0, if it's any team... Stop. I, if it's Stop any, it. If it's any team Stop it. Don't you say it. ...that can do it. We've always wanted to see it, right? That 6-0 comeback? Imagine that in the grand final. Well, we're not going to get to see it because Optic Gaming will win their first... I'm fine with 5-0. That, that's that's just as good. It's not. It's not. It has to be six one. It, it has to be. 6 -1. It has to be Lord and six. No, it has to be at match point because then you have no other weapon placements available. That's true. What make a comeback so special. This is still be a deal. Don't even no. stop it. Stop it. No. To blow a five zero lead. I mean, at that point, they deserve a trophy, not the actual trophy. But a different. Get, trophy. We should get them a different trophy. Yeah. Got to figure that out. Start a GoFundMe or something. For it. <laughs> Uh, but we'll see right here. And folks, this is going to be halftime. These respawn timers will drop back down to 10 seconds, and these weapons will be wiped, and hills will be flipped. What's interesting about this game so far, Optic Gaming only have one round. I see Sam 17 kills. He's an absolute slaying machine. 18 kills to see my soul is for first pick. He just needs his teammates to really just kind of help him a little bit here in the slaying category. All right, now he's looking for another one, and he's going to get reinforcements. He's going to get help there from Mental, and that's going to be good. They're looking for the remaining members. They wanted to keep tabs on them, make sure they ran out of the situation. Echo Fox now setting up for a home hill setup. They're going to be up top at that former B hill, looking to push across. Optic knows it. They've seen it plenty of time again. You see the team fire just trying to get Toy down. But most importantly, they're okay with just forcing him back in there and uh, back to his side of the map. Early on, Optic again, 2-1 to one hill advantage. There, we'll look at your overhead. You can see Echo Fox looking to see if they could potentially try and head down low towards Workshop, potentially get a break over at the E Ooh, hill. Oh, Praise looking to make the play, and that's a good chunk there on Mental. He didn't see it coming. Now with the man advantage here in the bar, you're going to see the rotation over there from mid-map for Optic. They're going to get some extra help, but Echo... They're getting backed up here, and Explosives pushes through, able to pick up one kill. He's going to get a second one, not able to. And now, 2v2 fight here on top of this E hill. Echo, they're in a good spot here, but those Optic Gaming members there are going to be off a respawn. Uh, would it be a 10 second respawn on these rounds? Sure, Cap Domination momentarily coming through. Soul is, is going to get flanked, though. It's mental, but puts a stop to any further action over at the E hill. Echo Fox, though, they do have their home hills. As I say, that Optic Gaming retake control of their own home hill. Of course, the FL front trying to go for a cheeky little Flank over towards mm. the E hill, finds one, that's Kenny. Now the pinch comes through, and Mental could be in a world of trouble, but he is able to at least shut down Fran, finds one kill in what was a horrible 1v3 situation. Hey, Optic still have the lead here. They're still in a good spot. Summons, this is going to be a big 1v. He's going to take that one. He's going to get the flank. He's going to get another one. He's going to get some help from his teammates. The last two of the last three members alive are going to be top barn, and one is going to be down. And you got another one defending the home hill. So I think they should be able to get E with ease. You know, explosives and summons just needs to work together. But 12, like it is, uh, 10 second respawns. Echo Fox are already going to be up. And now it looks look like they're going to be stacking down low. Looking like they want to retake this barn. I mean, they just broke barn to have it broken almost instantaneously by Optic 
gaming again in terms of points. You can see how close this one truly is. It's 155 to 145. It's going to be difficult for them to push over in and get home heals. Barn is the closest heal, and currently at this point, they can win off two. Uh, but I think they're going to end up having to push both these heals simultaneously, fight a 3v3 down low and a 2v2 up top, and uh, try to take both heals and hope that both sides win their gunfights. Yeah, it's a little more of a, a risky strategy, but you don't really have the time. Time is of the essence here, and Praise is going to fly straight through. Can he find first blood as he did moments ago when they had to break that E heal? Oh, it doesn't look like it's going to happen. Kenny and Mental both pick up kills. Mental with a double, but Kyle actually flies in out of nowhere. Uh, the problem is the F hill. Is anyone going to be able to touch it? The D hill is also being capped. This is the fight. Franchise will find the pick, but D is fully capped. So it will not matter. Optic Gaming take the first round of the second half. Still will be a great comeback. All right. Yes, it would. 5-0, but... Hey, that's two rounds right there. You know, Optic, if it's one thing... Uh, that we know. I mean, that, that would be moment. a hell of a way to win a championship. Yeah. Right? Because, well, uh, yeah. you know, they're a championship point, right? Like, <laughs> but they, they were almost a championship well, point. Yeah. And, uh, you know, if they get one more round in, statistically, you know, they should take this map because we've never seen a 6 0 comeback. So, you know, I, I almost, you know, like this, you can consider, you know, a 6 0 pretty much a win on the map if you want. True. You're right. Well, for now, to gaming, slowly but surely, taking it one round at a time here. Don't want to get too crazy. Uh, Frag grenades, of course, they will be placed by Echo Fox. But Echo Fox, again, if they can just get to that sixth round. They, I feel like the sooner they do it, the more comfortable they'll be, right? You don't want to allow, you know, to gaming, oh, 5-3, oh, now it's 5-4. Next thing you know, uh, you just lost the uh, major championship. I think Echo is going to set this map up in such a way where uh, Optic can't put down any uh, boom shots or or uh, any drop shots. They're going to fill up these weapon spawns just in case it does go to distance because if Echo wins another round, that's going to be that was going to be Optic's first placement. It's going to be boom, bottom barn. Uh, but you know, right now they, they, they're thinking smart. They're thinking long term. They, they say, hey, maybe they may win one or or two more rounds here, or you know, you know, we're going to end up. They're saying we're going to end up winning this sixth round eventually. So right. uh, let's make sure we can't let them make a play like that with that weapon placement. Smart boy. It is. It, it really truly is. But up to getting now. Two to one hill advantage. Toy, where is he going to try and get out of here? It's going to be the other extension towards D. Doesn't look like it. It was full red. Making his way up top towards where the B hill was in the first half. Now you're going to see. After gaming, two hills in their favor. Oh, no. Those nades are going to be in respawn in about a minute now. And now they're going to get this second kill as well. So Optic, that's going to be two uh, now. I feel like there's a turning of the tide here. I feel like the momentum is shifting. Both those guys top barn are going to go down. They took too much damage. The communication is too good right now. But Optic, that's three down. They're going to be decapping his home hill. They got two members <laughs> there right now. <laughs> it's happening. They're looking good. It's happening. But if uh, when, I'm, when, I'm, when Echo Fox is missing like point blanks like that and if, get turned if, on. Now that right there, that just happened. That's, that's icy. OK, he just got ecstatic there. Optic's now losing another round here. They're not. I'm sorry, Ben. I'm sorry, Echo Fox fans. I don't see Optic losing another round the rest of this map. I'm going to make that bold prediction. I'm that's, gonna that's, that's, that's literally crazy. Hey, You're saying they're going to win seven rounds in, in a row. row. Yeah, yeah. Stop. <laughs> okay, we're going to see. Were you at the bar before the final? Like, what's <laughs> Nope. <laughs> okay, I respect it. Boom shot place up top. But I will be there if I predict this <laughs> right after. <laughs> I'll buy you a drink if you get it right. Okay. Not going to lie, but... Uh, boom shot placed up top now by Echo Fox. <laughs> we'll see if uh, that is going to have uh, any type of uh, different effect. Obviously, they don't want that down low fight. They want the fight that was so successful for them in the first half. Makes a lot of logical sense. Uh, let's get on board here with Mental. Oh, well, we're going to look at the overhead cams because, uh, you know, we want to we want to catch that angle of, the, of those smokes coming out here because uh, they've been losing this fight. Echo's been winning it, but the team kill oh. isn't going to help anybody right here. They're going to oh, get that kill. kill. Here come another flank, and they're going to get two. Boom shot there. Icy 1v2, and he's going to get shut down, and that's four members down. Up to gaming, so polite. Obviously, uh, Echo Fox get a team kill, and they say, oh, don't worry, we'll level it up for you. Don't worry, yeah. they can't dominate it's off of this. They will have two boom shots, but they're not going to be able to dominate. They won't be able to make it to end time. Uh, summons is down there. Uh, if anything, Summons, summons would be okay with you know trying to force out those boom shots. Uh, also, even with nades coming out, those nades is actually summons. He was made, managed to sneak up and clear the path for his team to get to the home hill, and they're oh. going to down boom, so that boom's not going to be able to be utilized here. And now you pretty much uh, flipped it as if you were playing that last round. You know, that first fight in the beginning, 
only lasts about 30 seconds. Afterwards, your plan is mapped like you was before. So when you acquire that boom shot, when you win that team fight, you need to make something happen out of that. I've seen some fantastic comebacks in my Ooh. time in esports, and this could uh, be one that trumps them all, essentially. To gaming, slowly but surely, one round at a time, coming back in, summons with a big double kill. Now looking at Toy Soldier. Can he try and somehow stay alive? He has two teammates currently up with him, trying to buy time for everyone else to come off spawn the revive isn't going to come through toy goes down it's explosive that finds the pick kenny cleans up toy Ooh. and now up to gaming Ooh. are knocking on echo fox's door trip cap domination coming through echo fox flying through the smoke grenade franchise versus kenny's going to be the first fight kenny will take the advantage praise though still trying to take control of the hill and uh, nobody's going to be in position to stop this from going fast forward ben oh my god <sighs> not like this yeah, the, the envy curse was something we talked about for so long throughout season one. Surely it doesn't come back to start season two. Uh, I see he's in that mood now, you know, like he just got that vibe going on and I can feel up here from our desk. What what'd you do in terms of weapon placement now, your folks? What What is the play? What is the decision to be made here? I, you got you to gotta keep it simple. One is I want to give them nothing to work with. They are winning the fight in a bowl. That's plain and simple. Now with these higher respawn rounds, they need to take that boom shot and translate that into some kills. But if you have summons, one of his 1v1s one down low in the workshop and capping that hill, he's keeping Optic alive in here. Uh, but... Echo Fox, they're, they're so much better. I need whoever the front spawn is from Optic to get it together and to break ice and to get that kill. Optic Gaming. They were 5-0 down here in map number two. They've clawed their way back to 5-4. Echo Fox, though, you know, just uh, a few rounds away from forcing a game three here in our championship matchup at the Dallas Pro Circuit Open. Gonna kick things off on board with Mantle up top in bowl. Can he give up to gaming a little bit of an edge early on in this round? He will fall as well. Right. Solos with the pick. The nades. We're gonna see if they can get those nades up top. You got three members in here. You see the team fire. Good job there. And that boom shot's gonna be a dud though. Oh, well, it's Echo Fox to have the advantage, but for now, I want to go to a listen in with Optic Gaming as they mount the comeback. Come. Play sack, play sack. I'm gonna have you in two seconds. I have you in two seconds. I got you. I got you. I got you. I have you. I have you. Look at your screen still. Look at your screen still. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Pays there. Pays there. Pays apples. He backed up. I see go top. I see go top. There's still one apples. You got still one apples. He has one apples. Watch out, Miko. I want a shot. I just ripped. Super. Super. Boom. Still up top, bro. I have an apples. I'm fine. No, he's not up top. He's not up top. Help him. That monkey's boom. That monkey's boom. I'm dead, man. Boom. Rotate the rip. Boom. Rotate the rip. Watch out. Watch out, tractor. Got you there. I'm on the, Yo, that, S1. Boom's rotating the barn, guys. There's one track yeah, there. I'm hiding him top. That bullet, that, that, that bullet is boom. I'm gonna push you, bro. Fransman, Fransman, boom. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm flanking him. I'm flanking him. I'm gonna smoke up. I'm gonna smoke up. Boom, that's boom, that's boom. I'm gonna smoke up. Boom, that's boom. 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 Boom, Fishing, yo. Right behind you, right behind you, Gilbert. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Let's fucking go, go, man! Fuck oh, yeah. me, bro. Let's go, 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 baby! Go, you guys go, are go, fucking go, nervous! Go. Oh my god, these kids are actually choking. Let's go. Trash ass kids, bro. Yo, you're a fucking Bully monster. Them. Bully them. <sighs> Let's go. Holy shit. I literally just had the best lancer shot to my Let's life. Let's fucking right there. go, bro. These kids are fucking getting it. Oh my god, bro. Turn the fuck up. Let's Yo, go, Kenny. Uh, scooch left. Yeah, fuck it. Two more, boys. You said me? Yeah. Optic Gaming tied up. Five rounds apiece. I I hate you. Stop, stop <laughs> with the grin. I, you can't choke a 5-0 lead in a grand final. It cannot happen. Hey. It will not happen. It's a, I am, no. it's a reason why I do this, Ben, and I'll tell you, when I get a feeling, my feelings are usually right here, okay? I saw a look in Nicey's eyes, and I knew it was about to happen, okay? I knew it was about to happen here. Mental, I think he needs to turn up. He got the first shot in in this fight. That's going to be huge, and now he got, we're going to break ice right here. Boom's going to be on ground. If they get a second kill, that's going to be good. Boom shot in their favor. 18 second respawns. They get a third. Looking for that fourth, and that's going to be a wipe. Right there for Optic Gaming. Echo Fox crumbling 
before your eyes. Uptick Gaming, six rounds in a row. If they're able to get that trip cap domination in, of course, E Hill, now the trip cap comes through. Do they have what it takes to defend that E Hill? That's the question. Mental with one. Kenny has boom as well. The hill still gonna be broken, and that, this could be a, a little bit of a mistake from Uptick Gaming. If I'm honest, Front shuts down, uh, and Echo Fox are still in this game. Yeah, they still in it for right now. You know, I think one boom shot may still be in play. That should have been a trip cap. That, you know as well as I do, that should have been a trip cap domination right there. Kobe. <laughs> Downtown. Yeah, I thought he was gonna get a double with it, but you, they will get a double kill right there on the board. So 4v3 in favor of them, Explosives and Kenny. They're gonna work together to push on his heel to try to clear them out. Explosives will go down, but Kenny's gonna be in a difficult spot, but he's gonna trade off. But that's good because Echo Fox, they're not gonna, uh, they're not gonna advance from down. He got more Optic members coming in here to the home hill to try to force this fight. There's life in Echo Fox still. Three players from Optic Gaming up. It's a huge round. Echo Fox need to stop the Optic Gaming momentum. They cannot allow them to get to championship point now looking at praise can he somehow find a picker somehow change the flow of this round 11 looking down low towards that e-hill of course summons will be there for up to game now it's the boom on respawn no teams kind of accounted for right now we don't see anybody in that bowl uh they're trying to get around they're trying to take advantage of these long respawns but that's what i'm looking out for here i was trying to get in there mental's gonna get some good shots in he's gonna have to back down he has some help from his teammates the smokes are gonna come out he is still in favor of off the game and we're not seeing it broke yet but that's a good 1v1 explosives and summons working together here trying to keep that one heal they know that's the most important thing not losing that neutral heal and they're working together flawlessly Kyle and Solo still up though for Echo Fox. They overextend there. Still trying to put pressure on up to Gaming's home hill. Looks like Kyle may actually try and force the engagement with Kenny. The other home hill got taken. Boom shot's gonna be up off respawn. Icy may get it. Kyle, they may be in a different position, especially if Icy gets that boom as well. Kenny goes down though. It's gonna be Kyle that gets the pick. Still two players from Echo Fox being a nuisance in Optic Gaming's home hill. But on the flip side of the map, of course, Icy being a nuisance as well. Yeah, Summons, he's in that pit. Uh, Ash has got that time where he let him know, hey, that boom shot's gonna be up and he's gonna grab it right now he's gonna force those guys off the home hill they're starting to panic i think summons he needs to figure out which direction he's gonna go into he might shoot a long range boom onto that home hill he's gonna get broken they're winning their fights down low and summons he's just gonna say hey go kill him we're gonna save this boom here 186 128 advantage up to gaming the e-hill still under their control home hill being kept as well so he tries to fly in gonna keep it neutral for now but he's buying his teammates so much time here to try and extend over towards the e-hill it's basically a one versus three so he needs to try and break the hill again if possible, 202 points. The E will now be a broken toy soldier. This could be your moment. Shuts down Kenny, but Explosive flies in, and that will be the home hill. Up to gaming, six rounds in a row, find themselves a championship point. Yes. Yes. One point away. One point away. We've seen. You know what makes this worse? What? You know what makes this worse? You didn't just call a comeback. You, you literally said Echo Fox wasn't going to win a round, and that has been the case. What you want me to tell you there, Ben? So I, I want to know what you have for breakfast so I can turn into Master Yoda as well. I don't know. The catering was good today, though. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> okay. The pasta was on point. I haven't had carbs in a but while. But now we, we, we've seen Echo Fox uh, in some difficult situations. We've seen him choke rounds, okay? But to choke a big lead like that, we've never seen him recover from it. But if they're going to do it, now is the time to see uh, what they made up. This is season two. <laughs> It looks like season one all over again. Up to gaming in full control. Echo Fox throwing away rounds and oh, they don't do it. But in goes Echo Fox. Finally, a turn in the tide. Fran and Solars with the initial kills. Kenny goes down as well. Explosive though down but not out Kyle is gonna fall Fran with boom now explosive looking to force the engagement he will fall that's four players down for up to gaming summons last man up and bear in mind this is a 20 second respawn he's round. trying to mark some players here he has the instance toy is the only guy he has to kill and he has two instances in his hand toy is scouting he's looking he knows he's down there somewhere he has instances as well he's trying to bait it he doesn't know where summons is just yet but he's buying his team time. This is this is the only most important thing right here. Just give him time to respawn here and get up there. Of course, they got boom shot. Fran's going to be able to get one kill. But we're going to see he, if he misses the second one, if Optic gets their home hill back, Echo's going to be in a difficult spot here. And off the game, they decide, no, let's actually overextend down towards E. Oh! 
Oh! Goes the instant and summons will shut down. Toy. He got the double and he blew all of it up in his hand to get the second summons kill. So damn good. Icy will fall. Still, the presence of Echo Fox in Optic Gaming Space, but still, the E Hill completely, utterly neutral. Solar shuts down Kenny. The revive comes through. Explosive flies in. He shuts down one. That's franchise. He goes down. Again, three players down. Summons a mental now. The only two up for Optic Gaming. Now, mental. He needs to get a shot off here. He's stuck in a 1v2, but the self comes the no! Make him plays left and right. Keep an optic in this game. This could well be your event MVP on your screens right now. Yes. Summons has had a yes. phenomenal grand final, keeping his team in the game so many times. Now another gunfight against Toy. Down low at that E Hill. As it stands, though, Echo Fox with a massive lead. 107 points to just 18 of Optic Gaming. If Optic gets this boom shot, this could be them. I don't see them losing this round. NCN's gonna be up, but Summons trades off on another kill, and he Explosive is gonna get one as well. Optic with the man advantage, 4v3. They're in position to get a boom shot. They have Incense here as well. They're gonna get another kill. It's gonna come down. Franchise, can you stay alive right here? That's the quick revive. Fran goes down here also. They need to get E-Hill. F is being decapped. 1v1 at e Hill. Icy's coming for reinforcements here with explosives. Can they get the kill? Praise, can you hold off right now? No! The headshot comes through from Icy. The e Hill being decapped. Optic Gaming putting pressure on the trip cap. In goes the cavalry towards Echo Fox's home hill. Just a few players up for Echo Fox. Can they hang on? It's gonna come down to this right here. The boom shot, but that kill's gonna do it. Two boom shots in the hand of Kenny. He's gonna look the fire off at one right there, but the nade's gonna force him up the stairs. Optic looks Looking to take advantage, Domination coming through. Last man alive is there. That's a wipe right there. Optic Gaming takes your Dallas Open.